coming to reduction using sodium borohydride. The sodium borohydride is a milder reducing agent than lithium aluminum hydride. Okay. Now, coming to the preparation of sodium borohydride, it is prepared by reacting sodium hydride with the trimethoxy borate. We get sodium borohydride. Okay. Along with this, sodium methoxide. Okay. Now coming to the balancing part. No. This has to be three because we have three methoxide. Now the mechanism. Consider a general carbonyl compound. Say this is sodium borohydride. Now, it is this kind of the hydride attacks the carbon with positive charge. Okay. So, coming to this mechanism is similar to. that of lithium aluminum hydride. Okay. You got this hydrogen from sodium borohydride. This point is very important when we actually go for uh, isotopic labeling. That means when hydrogen is replaced by sodium, then this, of course, will come into picture. Taking three more molecules of the carbonyl compound, we get R, C, R dash, then O, and this, of course, we get a total of four such things. Fresh three, but overall it is four. We got B minus and A plus. Okay. Now when this is subjected to hydrolysis, finally we get O, here also a hydrogen. The point is, now this hydrogen is uh, from the solvent. This hydrogen is from sodium borohydride. 
And this one is from the solvent, a very important one. Along with this, we get sodium hydroxide and of course, boric acid. Okay. Now coming to the application. Most important is, you know, sodium borohydride reduces aldehydes, ketones, and acid halides only. This is very important. You know, lithium aluminum can actually reduce a wide variety of compounds, but sodium borohydride can just reduce aldehydes, ketones, and acid halides. Has to be remembered. Now, coming to This example, the cinnamyl system. This is cinnamic acid. Okay. With sodium borohydride. Okay, let us let us take cinnamaldehyde because cinnamic acid, of course, uh, the acid group cannot be reduced by sodium borohydride. So let me take uh, cinnamaldehyde, what we have actually taken with the lithium aluminum hydride also. Now check out uh, the two things, this and this. The product will be this. Only the aldehyde group is reduced. Whereas the other group is left as such. Okay. Now we'll take uh, Ketonic path reduced, and then let us consider an acid halide. We get alcohol. Okay. Now, reduction using another reducing agent, sodium in ethanol. So this is called Bouvialt blank reduction. 
look at it. Bouvier's blank reduction. See, sodium in ethanol is again a unique reducing agent. Can actually reduce aldehydes, ketones, and esters. Look at this interesting point. Aldehydes, ketones, and the esters. Okay. Let us see the mechanism. In the presence of alcohol, say ethanol, we get Na plus, I mean, it undergoes ionization and we get solvated electron, alcoholated electron. Now the ester comes into picture. Now taking sodium in ethanol or any alcohol, see we get Na plus and alcoholic electron. See the mechanism. Okay. Now it is this minus two plus and it is this. R C O minus N A plus. You will have an electron here. Then O E D of course. Take Sodium in ethanol again. Add this electron. So that will make the total number of electrons two. One, two. Nothing but a negative charge, right? Now, let us treat it with uh, ethanol. This is when uh, a hydrogen is added. So you can cut it this way. Ethoxide and H plus. Okay. Minus two plus. Got a hydrogen at carbon. R, C, O minus. Then, uh, of course, this OET and a hydrogen. Okay. Of course, you will always have the NA plus. Now, as and when this negative comes back, this one goes up. Okay. Minus OET minus R C double bond go then H. Again go for the same thing. Take sodium. I mean the two electrons is what we need. So let me do that in just one step. What do we get? 
a negative charge here, a positive charge here, and this positive is now going to become negative. This way. Okay. And now again it is uh, with ethyl alcohol. Go for the same thing. You got one more. R CH two O minus. Now see both the hydrogens are from, of course, ethyl alcohol. Of course, the only thing that adds hydrogens. Next, but knowing the mechanism will surely help you out. Look at this, RCH2OH is what we get, O minus and H plus, okay. So this is how sodium in ethanol can reduce aldehydes, ketones and esters. The name of this reaction is Bouvialt blank reduction okay check out the mechanism now it's another reducing agent Okay. Now this hydrogen in the presence of nickel, you know, it's it's very interesting, can reduce almost all, reduce all I can say. Even double lined triple bonds also. We have seen. Okay. Now, if suppose we take an example, and if we want to compare, it's reducing the ability with hydrogen in the presence of nickel, I mean with lithium aluminium hydride. See, in this case, we get CH3, CH, the double bond is not going to get reduced because it's not a cinnamyl system. Look at what has happened. Left as such. This one, of course, got reduced. This is okay. This is not okay because it's not a cinnamyl system. But when the same is reduced using hydrogen in the presence of nickel. Everything, even the double bond, gets reduced. Done. Even this also is done. So, this is all about Reduction using hydrogen in the presence of nickel. Okay. Now one more reducing agent. It's reduction using Dibal H. We know what Dibal H is. Dibal H. C 
said this is di iso butyl aluminium hydride okay let me give you the structure now this is di i mean this is isobutyl right up to this okay you got to to make it di di isobutyl you can show it even here also so di isobutyl then of course aluminum hydride aluminum hydride is alh3 two hydrogens have been replaced by these group i mean the di isobutyl group you know as far as the reducing the capacity of dibal h is considered it is almost on parallel with the lithium aluminum hydride same as this of course but more selective when compared to lithium aluminum hydride let's see in what way it is more selective taking some example taking the cinnamyl system an alpha beta unsaturated one a cinnamyl system now when this is reduced using the lithium aluminum hydride we get even the double bond gets reduced look at what happens a cut here ch2 ch2 then uh, this will become ch2oh plus of course the thiol alcohol from the other half okay so the thing is even the double bond is reduced now if the same thing is reduced using dibal h the double bond is not reduced this of course is okay okay look at this not reduced this is okay now let us take one more example even ethane nitrile or the methyl cyanide is reduced we get 
a primary amine. Whereas with the dibal H, you know, we get aldehyde. So that is the difference. Okay, then Let us go for MPV reduction. What is meant by this? You know, this is Mirvine and this of course is Pandarf This is Verli. Mirveen Pandar for Verli reduction. Okay. See, this is something which is opposite of open air oxidation. oxidation and in this case it is reduction. Let us see the reaction. Say this is a ketone. with the isopropyl alcohol in the presence of aluminium isopropoxide. Okay. This is aluminium isopropoxide. We get two things. The first one is, you know, the keto group is reduced. Making use of these two. So in the first case, we get a secondary alcohol. Whereas on the other hand, uh, isopropyl alcohol is oxidized. Ketones are reduced. to form secondary alcohol. So this method is employed for converting ketones into two degree alcohol. The reverse is open air oxidation or open air oxidation. Ketones are reduced into secondary alcohols. Okay. 